at a company called Lucifer Publishing to uh, write out the philosophical underpinnings of the United Nations. She turned it into something called Lucis Trust, which still to this day exists at the United Nations as a meditation room with a big, big black cube in the middle and a thousand points of light coming through the roof. And she wrote the 10 rules for the one world government which still exists at the United Nations today. And they are, okay, take God and prayer out of education. Number two, reduce parental authority over children. Number three, destroy the traditional Christian family structure. Number four, if sex is free, make abortion easy and legal. Five, make divorce easy and legal, free people of the concept of traditional marriage. Six, make homosexuality the alternative lifestyle. Seven, debase art, make it run mad. Eight, use media to promote and change mindset. Nine, create an interfaith movement without God. And ten, get governments to make all these laws and get the churches to endorse them. Um, let's just say the one thing not welcome at the United Nations is God. Anyway, sexualizing children, quite frankly, is, is preposterous um, and inaccurate. Hello. And welcome to the Disney Plus This Is Me Pride Celebration Spectacular. I texted me this morning, <laughs> you know, Gen Z is 30 to 40 percent queerer than the other generation's mom, so Disney better get with it. Our leadership over there has been so welcoming to, like, my, like, not at all secret gay agenda. They've been really open to exploring queer stories. I'm on the production side, and so kind of the only way to have these, like, canonical trans characters, canonical asexual characters, canonical bisexual characters, is to give them stories where they can, like, be their whole selves. I identify as, like, a biromantic asexual. I want to, like, add the, po the, the pockets of the LGBTQ community that you don't see. I was like, I want to get, like, gay advanced. And so we no longer say, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's hello everyone or hello friends. We were targeting Gen Z and, and millennials. We were tar targeting a younger... Um, all this content's going for to kids who don't know any of this, and even if they're in a household like Keith uh, that have uh, supportive parents, they're still getting all of this information from media of what is normal. If I was the devil, my first victim will be the kids. From the moment they left their mother's precious wombs and were born, I would condition them to see racial division as a norm. And I wouldn't stop till I've stripped their innocence. Divide and conquer is the oldest trick in the book of Genesis. And see, as they grew up, I would, I would continue my infiltration. For 12 years, I would steal their hearts and minds from them and call it education. If I was the devil, my next victim would be women. I'd make old, out-of-touch men control women's bodies and rights. What better way to curse God than to disrespect the very bringers of life? Speaking of God, if I was the devil when it comes to religion, I'd put my plan together perfectly. I'd allow you to worship Jesus every Sunday. And on the other six days, I'd make you worship me. In the form of money, fame, lust, and greed to my religion, I wouldn't need to convert you. I'd turn the Ten Commandments to the Ten Suggestions and make virtue signaling more important than virtue. I'd give you just enough religion to hate each other, but not enough to love each other. And for my final evil strategy, I'd make you forget the whole purpose of religion was spirituality. If I was the devil, I, I wouldn't come dressed in a red cape and pointy horns. I'd drive a Lambo, have a pretty face, and a Gucci belt on. Basically, I'd take the form of everything you ever wished for and watch you create your own hell. I don't need to torch the earth. And as far as politicians go, i change nothing. They're already doing my dirty work. If I was the devil low-key, I'd be behind the scenes. You wouldn't have to see me. I would normalize dysfunction and call it reality TV. And in this reality, I would attack your self-worth, making it hard to heal from. I'd show you images of fake bodies and make them more attractive than real ones. If I was the devil, I'd make you pray to technology and idolize those who create it. I'd make clout the number one drug and steal millions of lost souls as they chased it. Now, if I was the devil, I, I wouldn't do it all at once. I'd take my time instead. I'd eat away at your morals little by little. 
exactly how cancer spreads. Speaking of cancer, if I was the devil, I'd feed you tasty food that makes you ill. Then I'd turn your doctors into drug dealers, selling you pills that keep you coming back instead of truly healed. Yeah, if I was Lucifer, then I'd know life and death are in the tongue. So I'd make your knife and fork your executioner. See, you can't achieve higher consciousness if your body is sick. You won't opt for positive information if you have inflammation. If I was Satan, my cleverness would be admired. Why do you think the word inflammation literally means to set on fire? If I was the devil, I'd show you how to really flex. I would release pandemics on the world to give people the chance to really care for each other and then sit back and laugh as they exploited and became scared of each other. Basically, if I was the devil, I'd keep doing what I'm doing. God is my witness. I already control your systems. Don't try to fight against this. Because for my last trick, I would make smart people like you doubt whether I ever existed.